I'm not the type of person who likes to hold on to a lot of product. I tend to get rid of product that I haven't used for, let's say, around 12 months. After that, it's got to go, plain and simple. Not when it comes to cycling stuff. Apparently, I have a bit of a hoarding problem when it comes to cycling gear. I just have to hold on to it for whatever reason. I don't know if you're the same as me. Let me know. What I want to do today is go through this pile of junk, determine what's a keeper, what's got to go. So we're going to create two piles here. Think of it a little bit of one pile is a keeper. One pile is going to go onto Facebook Marketplace and or a car boot sale, as my British people like to call it, or as a garage sale, as my North American friends like to call it. Let's dive into this pile of cycling junk. See what's a keeper and what's got to go. Okay, move to the side, kind of, sort of. Let's get into this pile of junk and um, see what we're gonna keep. First and foremost, um, certainly not junk. This is the newer addition to the pile. This is a Silka frame pump. The reason why it's still in its package and hasn't been used is because it doesn't fit my bike. I bought it, it's the wrong size. This one is already up on Facebook Marketplace. It hasn't sold yet because I think there is a bit of an aversion to frame pumps because they're gonna add so much weight to your super light carbon frame. Uh, that's up to you, that's your choice. I love them. Um, I did order another one which is now on the Mariposa, but this one is up for sale. So this one is a keeper until I sell it. Next up is uh, sunglasses. I tend to follow trends, cycling trends, when it comes to sunnies. As you may or may not know, the, um, the choice these days are the larger framed sunglasses whether they're from Oakley or in this case from Pock. I'm a big fan of these. These are the Pock Aspires. I wear them, Linda wears them, we love them. They're big, protect your little face. However, for whatever reason, again, I've been hoarding and I've held on to some older Rudy Project glasses that I've had for, I don't know, a million years. So I don't know why I've held on to these. This is one pair. This is another pair. Tiny, tiny lenses in comparison to the newer, cooler style of Sunnies from the likes of Pock. So these Rudy Project Sunnies. I've got to go. There's a lot to get through. So let's start chipping away at it. Shoes. Diodora. Vortex Pro 2 shoes. I see a lot of shoes showing up on Facebook Marketplace and uh, for the most part I think a lot of them are in pretty good condition, worn once or twice. Sometimes they are in a, an atrocious condition and the people claim to have worn them once or twice. Uh, once or twice, maybe uh, two tours of the Tour de France. I've held on to these. These are actually pretty comfortable. I haven't worn them for a while. They've got Shimano cleats on the bottom. They're pretty dope. I think Movistar was sponsored by Diodora 10, 15 years ago. Um, but I, when I do wear them, I find them quite comfortable. But I've got, since I've bought these, I've purchased many other pairs of shoes, which I prefer more than these. So um, it's time to say goodbye to these Diodoras. Bye-bye. Okay, helmets. I've talked about this cask helmet before. Um, I'm not too sure why I am holding on to it. I have replaced it with a POC helmet. So that's gotta go. <sighs> Scott Centric Plus. This is old, old, old. Linda has one of these. I've actually taken a lot of the foam out of this helmet and put it into Linda's helmet. Linda is due for a new one. I think I did a vlog on that not too long ago. So we're gonna replace her version of this. I don't think I'm gonna list this one on Facebook. I think this one has seen a better day. Um, so yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Fenders. 
The bikes that I have right now, the Mariposa has 29 millimeter tires on it. The new Velo Orange bike has 33s on it, Panna Racers. And the Felt that I have, my cyclocross bike, has um, also has Panna Racers on it and they are a 35. So, these SKS fenders will not fit on any of my current bikes. I've had these for 10, 15 years. Back probably when I was running 23 millimeters or 25 millimeters, and they no longer work on any of my bikes. They don't fit, but for whatever reason, I've held on to them. You, like me, probably hold on to stuff thinking that one day there will be a project that will need these. That project hasn't materialized, so it's time for these fenders to say goodbye. Slowly getting through the pile. Here is a physique saddle. It's the Arione. Arion. Currently not on a bike. Haven't used it in a long time because I found it very uncomfortable. It also doesn't have that cutaway, which I have a preference for, uh, the relief channel. So this has been kicking around, again, probably for a project that um, just hasn't been forthcoming. Cool thing about Physique, they had a little gap here in the back of the saddle, a little hole, I'm not too sure if you can see that, which accommodates a Physique saddlebag. Slots in very nicely, forces you to buy a Physique saddlebag. Um, this saddlebag will not fit on any other saddle outside of a Physique saddle obviously, proprietary interface. So it's time to say goodbye to both of these. There is not a project coming, these have gotta go. This is an interesting one. I have this rotor chain ring. It's a 5236, this is the 52 portion of it. Why is it not attached to a crank set? So here's the crank set. This one breaks my heart a little bit. This is a rotor crank set, which originally was on a Cervelo that I had. Took it off and it went on to an older Felt F4X, I believe, um, that belonged to my boss. For whatever reason, these pedals, I think what happened was uh, they got over torqued, not by me, but I think they got over torqued into the crank arms. And uh, a few of us have tried to get these off um, I think at one point someone even tried an impact drill to try and get these off. Didn't work. Um, these pedals are now stuck on these crank arms and will be in perpetuity. So these have got to go. I'm not selling them. These have got to go in the garbage along with this. I may hold on to this chain ring, but they got to go. They're taking up space. Okay, getting through it. Altegra 10 speed rear derailleur. Not the cleanest item in this box. Again, probably waiting for a project that hasn't been forthcoming. What I'm gonna do is clean it up and I'm probably gonna hold on to it. It looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Old cassettes. This one is uh, actually quite nice. This one is a Jurace 1126. This one came on my number 22 titanium bike. Um, these Jurace cassettes are very expensive. I've held on to it for a long time. I really don't have a project or a bike that could use this, but um, I think I'm gonna hold on to it. You never know. So I'm gonna hold on to the rear derailleur, 10 speed. I'm gonna hold on to this 11 speed Jurace cassette. Until the next time I do this video in two, three years when I probably end up getting rid of it. Bottle cages. These ones are quite nice. These are the Shimano Pro Carbon bottle cages. They came off of my titanium number 22. Again, I don't have a bike that they could fit on. I have the Velo Orange, which is in dire need of bottle cages, but I'm gonna put some stainless steel bottle cages on that bad boy. So these ones, I think I'm gonna put them on Linda's bike. Linda has some elite bottle cages that aren't carbon fiber. Um, so I think I'll keep these and put them on her bike. So those are a keeper. Shimano Jure's pedals. I love these. I love, love, love Shimano pedals. I'm not a big fan of whatever hairy monstrosity that's attached to that. What is that? Anyways, uh, I love them. However, I'm just not running Jure's right now. I'm just not running Shimano pedals right now outside of the SPDs on my cyclocross bike. 
I have Look Kios on my Velo Orange, and I have Look Compatible Asioma pedals, the power pedals, on my Mariposa. But I'm not getting rid of these. No, no, no. These are expensive. I'm gonna hold on to these. So these are going over here with the bottle cages. Look at the size of this monstrosity. I think I bought this pump when I was really into mountain biking. The size wasn't an issue because I just put it into my Camelback. But as a road rider now, um, there really is no need to have something uh, this large. Where am I gonna put something like this? Is there a need to hold on to it? No, I don't think so. Because again, I've got the Silka frame pump. This has gotta go. Okay, last couple of things. There's a few knickknacks left in this box. Um, to be quite honest, I'm not too sure really what they are. Well, there's a light there. That's gonna come in handy at some point. Um, this is a torque gauge from Park Tools. I think this was a gift at some point, maybe at some kind of Christmas gift exchange party. Someone thought I'd love this and they certainly do come in handy. Um, the person who bought this for me probably didn't know I have a digital uh, torque wrench. Do I need to keep this? No, but could I sell it? Well, hey, maybe I could re-gift it. It's gotta go. It's funny what you find when you go through these drawers or you go through these boxes of uh, old gear. I have this inner tube that doesn't have a valve. I think I know why that is. It looks like it's brand new. So I need to find a valve replacement. Hold on to that. Of course, you know what happens once you start getting rid of stuff, um, you start replacing it. But I'm not gonna do that. Not for the foreseeable future. This stuff's gotta go. You <laughs> gotta make space for new stuff. Uh, that's a wrap, people. It's good to see you. I missed you last week. Linda and I were both in Paris having an amazing time. Not cycling related, but very much uh, wine, cheese, and croissant related. So it's time to get back on the bike. It's time to burn off all those calories. We will regroup. Got a good one for you next week. Have a great week. Take care.